anything in your life that you want to take from a lower level to a higher level, whether it's physically, emotionally, in relationships, and so forth. Is there anything you want to go from bad to good, from good to better, better to great? Then this will be an incredibly important Art with a Message with Timothy Paulson. You know what? This is titled, One, excuse me, $7 Yard Sale Painting, transformed to a $1 million painting. How in the world is that possible? What is that all about? Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story. If I don't tell you this story today, now this, I've done other episodes of Art with a Message, and uh, I've teased a little bit about this $1 million painting in the room right through here. And um, if I don't tell you about it today, Dana and Michael and Britt and others are going to be really upset with me because they've said, show me the million dollar painting. So I'm going to. You know, I love to paint. I love to create art um, because I like to discover things. I like to learn. I like to be inspired. I like to, to gain hopefully some wisdom that I can share that will inspire and uplift you and others. That's what really fuels me in doing this art. So today's message, I hope you'll really find valuable. It's been really important to me. It's made a big difference for me, which I'll explain. All right, so a sleepy little town in Utah. I was driving through one Saturday morning, and there was a yard sale off to the right, and something caught my eye. So I stopped, and I ran over, and it was a painting that was leaning up against some furniture. And so I looked at it, and it was, it was not a painting that I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy this and, and because it's going to be worth a lot more than what I paid for it. It wasn't that. It wasn't, oh, I want to buy this and put it on my wall because it's beautiful. It was not that. It was, I felt sorry for it. Because it was dusty and dirty and just sitting there in a yard sale. And I went up to the owner and I said, what do you know about this painting? What can you tell me about this painting? And she laughed. <laughs> she said, I, we know nothing about this. And it's just been in our garage for years. And so you can have it for $7. And I thought, okay. So I took it. Again, because I felt sorry for it. It was a, a fairly attractive painting. It was black and white. It had mountains in the background. It had um, a stream. It had trees and, and that type of thing. So I promptly took it home, and I put it in the storage room downstairs. A <laughs> couple of years later, I was in that storage room, and I came across the same painting. And the same feelings I had before came to me, and it was like, oh my gosh, I haven't done any better with this painting than the previous owner. I have totally forgotten it. So it was dusty, and it was dirty, and it was just sitting there again in the storage room. So I got the idea. I'm going to transform this piece, this, this piece of art, this art, into something that is totally cool, something that is unique, and something that is different. So I, I really love the art of Jackson Pollock. Jackson Pollock is an artist in the 30s, 40s. He would throw paint around on a canvas like a crazy man, some people would say, but it turned out to be beautiful, incredible art. And there were individual, I mean, they're in museums all over the world. Jackson Pollock's art is worth millions and millions of dollars. I said, I'm going to transform the $7 yard sale painting into a $1 million painting. And so how am I going to do that? So I did it, and I, again, did it in the style of Jackson Pollock. So I am going, I know, I know, Dana and Michael, Britt, you're saying, show me the painting. Show me. The All right, I'm going to. All right, here we go. I've teased you again. It's in this room. But let me show you what I did. Check this out. Okay? So here we are. Here is the painting. And before I go in there and tell you more about it, I've got to the painting, after I finished it, it was in this room with all these other paintings. And I looked at it one day and I said, if this is a $1 million painting, what would I do with it? How would I treat it? How would I view it? How would I, what, what would I do with this darn thing? And I got the idea. If this was a $1 million painting, 
I would create its own little museum so to speak. I would put it by itself in its own room. I would set it apart. I would put like a mental frame around it and even kind of a physical frame, so to speak, in the room, setting it apart from everything else. So that's what I in here. It's in a room all by itself. Can you see that? All by itself. There's no other piece of art in this room. You've got the crowd control rope because I don't want anybody getting too close to this thing. And then there's a seat. Look at this seat. So it's for individuals to come and ponder. You can sit, you can ponder, and you can watch. But look at this. So here it is. It's in its original frame, but it's in a different mental frame. So again, the principle is setting it apart, making it different, making it unique offsetting it from everything else. Now, I've written an entire book based on the things that I've learned from that painting. That's just one. It's something I called the private museum principle. As soon as I took that painting and I put it in its own room and I set it apart and I made it special and different, I looked at it differently. It became, in my mind, a $1 million painting. You know what? I was actually interviewed on ABC television in Salt Lake, an affiliate. I took this painting and I told a little bit of this story. They don't give you much time. But I told the story because it is rising from the dust. And here's the principle. Uh, first of all, I just want to continue my, my last idea. I wrote a whole book. It's like 12 different principles like this one that I'm sharing today contained in this book. I'm still working on the title, but it's something like Rising from the Dust, How to Take Your Life from Lower to Higher, How to Transform Your Life. So this, again, is just one principle. But here's what I want to do to illustrate this a little bit more. I have a completely remarkable and wonderful wife. We've been married almost 34 years. She's gorgeous in every way. She's more beautiful today than she was 34 years ago. If I treat my wife and my marriage like a $7 yard sale painting, it's not going to be great. It's going to be in the dust. It's going to be unappreciated. But when I treat my wife she is worth everything to me. She's set apart. I take her on weekly dates. She and I pray together every night. We do wonderful things together all the time. She's my best friend. When I treat her, then it changes the frame of our relationship. So my question to you is, how are you doing physically? Are you putting yourself and your body in a, like a private museum, honoring and respecting it, or neglecting it like a $7 yard sale painting? How about your relationships? How about your business? How about your career? How about your spirituality? How about your mental state? All of that intellectually. Um, I'm saying that you can take this principle the private museum principle. You can transform anything figuratively from a $7 yard sale painting to a million dollar piece of art. Now I'm going to show you one other thing because some people have asked about this. Hey Tim, where can we see more of your art? So I'm going to show you this. this is a there is a website, www.sachiart.com forward slash Paulson. So you see how Saatchi art is spelled. So here's a picture of me. So you, and it's Timothy Paulson. If you search here for Tim Paulson, you will not find this. But you can go over here. There's 19 pieces of my art. So you click on artworks. And let's see what happens. I hope something happens. There we go. So then here you can see different pieces of art. And some of these I've shown you. You can see here. Um, I like this one, Muhammad Ali. This one sold. <laughs> Not available. This one sold. But then you see the sculpture that I spoke to you about before and these beetle paintings and so forth. The good news is, is that these are not $1 million each. The best 
I still revere and respect and honor them. So they're kind of, they're, they're not a million dollars, but they're up there. But anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you this time. I hope that you will take something in your life. You'll apply this. Because again, why do I do this? It's art with a message. Why do I do it? I paint so that I can learn, I can discover, I can gain some sort of wisdom, some insights that then I can share with you and others to inspire and uplift you. That's what I love to do. That's why I speak all around the world at seminars and so forth. This is what I love to do. And I love to share this with you. So have a wonderful day. I'm glad you joined me. Keep up the great work. And I'll talk to you next time.